Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome to the Tour de France discussion for Stage 18 of the 2020 edition of the Tour de France. Today was another mountain stage, and when I first looked at this one on paper, I really didn't see a mountain stage. <laughs> but as the stage went on, man oh man was I proven wrong, it actually had the most meters of climbing of any one stage of the tour this year because the undulation was continuous throughout the stage with a couple relatively large climbs that added up by the time we got to the end of it. Uh, the game we're playing today is the Academia Simulator, uh, so we'll be doing that while going on with our discussion of our 175 kilometer stage. It had a Category th 1, followed by a Category 3, and then a 2, and then a 1, and then an all category climb. So it started with a hard climb, but then it eased off, and each climb got progressively tougher. Uh, let's see. No, that's... Uh, this plays a lot like what we had yesterday with the... Uh, Prison Tycoon. Do you have a foundation? Foundation, foundation. Okay, we do have floors, but I'm assuming that's coming in later. Uh, I, I played this game a long time ago when it was new. I have not played it since, so it's all uh, different to me. Well, let's go ahead and it's price the same for all of these. It is. Let's make some stone wall then. Let's just do something here. I have no idea if I can do this without a foundation. Apparently we're going to have to clear out the tree there. Oh, the wall's going up pretty f quickly. Out walls. What? Oh, that was just the tea. Okay, I got you, I got you. That's outdoors. We want floors. Uh, no, can't do a wooden floor. No way. No way. I think these have different prices. No. Yeah, it's all the same. In that case, let's just throw in this little diagonal wall. All right, back to the stage. Uh, today really was going to be the last chance to make a move in the GC standings. On a regular stage, anyway. The Today is 18, right? 19 is mostly a sprint stage. 20 is the individual time trial. And, of course, that is a great place to make a move as well. We're going to need a door or mini. And we're going to have to start sorting out. Okay, well, that's different. Uh, why don't we get th three? There and here. Okay, let's throw some doors on. And we're going to have to wall up the inside as well. Okay, it looks like the middle. Okay, it looks like our rooms aren't quite even, but whatever. That's fine. We'll make it work. Alright, basic shape of six classrooms. Uh, so today, at least on paper, it was looking like it was not going to be such a hard day for the GC. 
but that it was going to be a horrendous day for the sprinters. That constant undulation, even though the climbs weren't that bad. Uh, we're looking at a scenario where it seemed like the GC guys were going to hang in there no problem. But the first climb of the day could be tough enough to drop sprinters, meaning their survival, their coming in within the time cut, was going to be in question today for sure. Very early uh, intermediate sprint. 32 riders form the initial breakaway at the beginning of this one, including our top sprinters. Bennett claims the intermediate sprint, gets all 20 points. Trentin goes second, gets 17, Sagan 15 and third. His contention for that green jersey, I think, is now done. Uh, his only chance is if he wins the stage tomorrow because the Champs-Élysées is never going to favor a hybrid sprinter. So Trentin, Sagan stand no chance at the Champs-Élysées. In fact, I would already right now pick Caleb Ewan on that one because even Sam Bennett, he's going to struggle a little bit on these last two sprint stages given that he's been trying so desperately to defend this jersey and has had to ride much harder than what is normal for for him. Normal for him being conserve energy, conserve, 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 sprint. Conserve energy, sprint, right? He's had to do a lot of hard riding that normally isn't part of his role. Uh, so I, I sense that he's going to be a little off his game, but still be faster, and Trentin and Sagan when it comes down to it for that final. So tomorrow's stage, if Sagan doesn't win the stage, not just the intermediate sprint, but win the stage, get those 50 points at the end of it, he's done. He's totally done. He'll, he'll be out of reach. Uh, maybe not mathematically out of reach, but he'll be out of reach. Uh, in a reasonable sense. All right, our rooms are ready. Let's go ahead and get something going with this again. Uh, you know what? I'm going to need something. I'm assuming in order to get students, we're going to need some teachers and some admin. And instead of doing a whole nother thing, why don't we just do this? We'll make a little mini office out of one of these rooms. Okay, I'll throw a big window in here. I have no idea which direction that's supposed to go. Apparently it's this direction. Let's throw windows in on these outer ones as well. All right, uh, there we go. Grab some frequent ones. We'll get our teacher tables into at least these few rooms here. Four small rooms. We'll start with that. Okay, they're going to need a chalkboard. Squeeze them in on these and then student chairs. Gonna go this way. Got a whole row here at the back. Okay, uh, you know, at this point, I'm just kind of squeezing things in. Doesn't need to be perfect.
Oh, hello. There's a click and drag feature that wasn't there last time I played this. There you go. Alrighty, so. Basics are coming along. I don't have any uh, special features, but uh, we'll make it work. We're going to need a principal. And we're going to need some teachers. Oh, they have skills. Forgot th about that part. Uh, B and B didn't get into that break, so Pierre Roland, who was tied on points in that virtual KOM lead, of course, until the GC guys came and claimed more points on that last stage. Uh, so B and B was actually chasing, making the beginning of the stage quite difficult. They closed the gap down a bit, and then Roland attacked as soon as they hit the uh, first climb. I uh, pulled some other guys with him, including Al Philippe. And that brings us into this category one. 18.6 kilometers, but only 6.1% on the gradient. That huge break, wide range of quality within the break, and a hefty chase led mostly by VNB. Uh, before long, we had riders all over the road. The complexion of the break was constantly changing. We had no idea who was actually up there. Uh, and where on the road they were. Meanwhile, in the break, Enios had some really strong riders again today. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother looking at who or what uh, these guys do. We're just going to hire a few random teachers, including I've got to get myself a Eugene, who's apparently going to be my art teacher. Uh, Eugene, because... I went to University of Oregon, which is in the city of Eugene. So there you go for that one. And we have something, somebody, anybody. What do you do? History. Yes, I want a good history teacher. Of course I do. That's what I was for 10 years, by the way. Uh, I need one more, right? Science. Sure. Cool beans. All right. Uh, oops. Can I change their department, please? I was not trying to make them language teachers. Yeah, okay, whatever. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. All right, that was my pool of language teachers. Uh, we're going to be short a little bit here based on this. Six subjects. Let's get a science teacher. Well, there's a language teacher. Okay, you want to be PE? Fine. PE. Why do I have a PE teacher right now? <laughs> uh, da, 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 Luke, your language. Your language. Your PE. Hey, mediocre history teacher. How about a science teacher? Anybody? Anybody? There you go, science teacher. All right, that's four for now. Whoa, there they are. All right, still getting some construction going. We'll just let them be for now. So Enios was blowing up the break, all adding to that constant change as, as to what was going on. Uh, and there were definitely some decent riders in that front group that had some KOM points. As we went over the first climb at the front, it was Mark Hershey who was really going for it. He picked up 10 points. That put him at 41 in the KOM competition. And Richard Carapace went over second with 8 points, giving him 40 in the KOM competition. Next up was Category 3, Hershey gets both points, 43, Carapaz gets 1 point, 41. We're seeing a trend of those two at the front. Riders were still all over the place, though. The lead group, though, 
diminished from what we had of, what was it, 32? Yes, 32 initially. Now just five riders left. That's Hershey, Carapaz, Kwiatkowski, Ed A, and Bill Bow. Next up was Category 2. Again, Hershey over the top first. Five points, now 48. Carapaz, three points. Puts him at 44, losing a little bit of ground. He started just ahead of Hershey on the day. Carapaz now four points behind. But on the descent, Hershey crashes. This was a really interesting part to the stage. Reason being, uh, I, I have teachers now. What do I need to get some students? I probably need something. Oh, I somehow have infinite money. Uh, that's not supposed to be, but okay. Let's see. Can I do something for... Oh, we're going to do research for that. <laughs> we don't have any of our utilities set up. Yeah, not good. Uh, I know there's a schedule in here somewhere. Oh, start school year. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, you know what, we could take 30, 30 students. Let's do that. Getting all sorts of announcements all of a sudden. Okay, we haven't done janitors, so there's nobody to clean up. I got teachers just sitting there. Uh, we'll see. These guys should be admitted here fairly soon, I would think. I do like that they're actually giving you time now, though. Uh, which I would like that if it uh, weren't for the fact that I'm just trying to squeeze through this. Uh, zones. No, we don't need zones. Uh, delivery, garbage, office. Okay, we'll make that our office. Okay, what are you missing? File cabinet? There you go. <laughs> Just miss everybody's going home. Whoa, all sorts of stuff happening here. Okay, we have we have our fifteen now. Looks like. Well anyway. Where were we? That's not what we came for, right? Not the game. Uh, Hershey. Okay. So you've got two Ineos riders. Mark Hershey plus Bill Bow. Bill Bow obviously in support of Mikel Landa as a Bahrain McLaren rider. So Hershey there for the stage, but he's going up against two ridiculously strong Ineos riders. And Hershey's interested in the KOM. Carapaz was interested in the KOM. Hershey wasn't working. Hershey was just sitting on. So as they're going down this descent, Carapaz is at the front, and he's trying to go down at a quick pace, and Hershey's not doing anything. So Kwiatkowski goes back to Hershey and is like, come on, man, you, you got to work. You, you can't just sit on with this group. 
And I think I'm assuming that he kind of says like, hey, if you're not going to work, we're, we're going to attack you, right? We want to win the stage as much as you do. But if you're not going to help and you're going to sit on and you're going to save yourself for those KOMs, then screw you, buddy. You know, something along those lines. And so all of a sudden, Carapaz rides away. And Kwiatkowski just sits on Hershey's wheel. And Hershey sees the gap start to open and finally puts his head down and accelerates. And less than a minute later, goes around a corner too quick, still trying to catch Carapaz. Goes around a corner too quick. Uh, he, he was already, I mean, he looked like a, a motorcyclist round in a corner. He was so low. I mean, he, his knee was already pretty much on the ground. And he lost the wheel. And right off the road. The front three come back together. Uh, he was about... 35 seconds behind when he got up and got moving again, so he really didn't miss much time. Uh, okay, are we going to have these guys? Day two? I mean, I still haven't had the option to start school year. I'm guessing there's things that I must do because uh, I haven't seen any kids come in either. Having a schedule might help. Uh Let's see here. We want... I can't do anything yet with that, apparently. Apparently I'm going to need a math and art teacher. Art teacher now. Art, art, art. Somebody, somebody, somebody. There you go. Now, can I create a schedule yet? Okay, I think we need some research. This doesn't seem necessary, you know? You know what I'm saying? But a schedule certainly seems necessary. And I can't start the school year, but it's not telling me why I can't start the school year. There we go, to-do list. Gotta to have some food, apparently. Okay, this wasn't available before. We looked. Let's uh, throw this in here. Uh, so Hershey, he only lost 30 seconds, and he's going to try really hard to stay with them, uh, but he never gets back on. There was a six-minute gap to the peloton, though, making it pretty clear that Ineos was setting themselves up potentially for a stage win. Next up was the Category 1 climb of the day. Kwiatkowski, Carapaz, accelerate to keep Hershey behind as he was starting to close it down. They opened the gap to 53 seconds, and they opened the gap over the peloton to eight minutes through this stretch carapaz goes over the top first getting 10 points that puts him at 54 approaching the lead for the classification mark hershey still goes over in a decent position he, he only gets four points though putting him behind carapaz now with 52 from here we have 37 kilometers left to go in the stage the all's category climb is what we're at the base of 6k is the climb it's really short but it's an 11.2 percent average gradient then you go over the top you're not done climbing 
and it definitely does not ease up because as soon as you hit that top and that six kilometers is up you then go into a 1.8 kilometer uphill gravel section nowhere near as steep which is why they don't call it part of the climb itself uh, they would lose that all's category classification by lowering that percent by quite a bit but then you have this challenging section right after landa with help from wout poles the tacks are pretty much right at the base of the climb uh, bilbao was distanced from kwiatkowski and carapaz in the break landa after a lead out from poles he goes solo van art takes over for jumbo visma and begins the chase and this is where the race really gets interesting because up until this moment the back markers they were losing a lot but just them nobody else was uh kitchen sweet can we maybe kitchen this okay and then I know there's no toilets yet cafeteria can I cafeteria this what do you need table counter plate counter bench Oof, this is gonna be tough uh, let's see if we can get all that in there there you go cafeteria uh yeah i'm not sure we're gonna fit this all in there this already alone is taking up half the space okay uh yep does not fit not not compute all right uh, in that case, we are going to switch this up. We need to build some more walls. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, stone wall. Okay. Not to be confused with Stonewall Jackson. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let's click and drag. We're going to turn this into the space, which means we're going to clear this out, move this over there. Uh, you need a floor. Uh, and we need a door. Door, door, door. Door! Alright. Sweet. We have a window. <laughs> That's fine. It's from the kitchen into the cafeteria. See? That makes sense. Okay, we're gonna zone this up as cafeteria. Okay, let's. Can we get out of this? Get out. There you go. Can I move you? Is there no move option? Fine. Sell. So, I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. Okay, food counter. Let's try this again. Put it on the other side of the window. Okay, and we'll go this way and we'll throw in a bench here are you not gonna rotate oh nope there you go that was your problem okay two benches a table a food counter we need a plate counter Excellent. That's enough. That's a very small, small space. So they go up this all category climb again, 6K, and then the gravel section. Uh, Van Art's chasing. Uh, we had a peloton that was still 
fairly sizable. I mean, it was a medium-sized peloton up to this point. The climbs weren't really that bad. And this was a short climb. You figured a lot of guys would make it over this climb. But Landa's attack does some serious damage. Now, Landa's the attacker. He's not necessarily doing the damage. Van Art's the one on the front. And Van Art just blows up what is left of the peloton. He, to me, has been the revelation of this tour. Now, Van Art's been a revelation since we came back uh, from the COVID-19 break. He has been the rider of the season. And he is elevating that profile even further what he has done has just been phenomenal. Uh, I've made a food counter. Where's my food counter? So, uh, let's... Can we cancel zones? There we go. Remove zone. Perfect. Okay, uh, can we do something here? Do I have to take, maybe this is why I can't. We're gonna need two more classrooms to have six. So oh, I guess let's go back and do some more walls. I don't know why it keeps doing that over and over again. Okay, doors. Okay, door, door. Love to just copy and paste this. No, I just want the one. Thank you. There we go. All right. And the student chairs. All right, there's two more classrooms. That'll give us six. We're just about ready. Uh, first notable drop, Uran. Uran goes out the back just after that. Valverde goes out the back. And then also Yates is dropped. Tom DeMoulin never even rode on the front. It was still Van Art at that time. DeMoulin dropped. Meanwhile, at the front, Carapaz goes over first. No problem, because Kwiatkowski not challenge him. He, he gets 20 points, gives him 74. That gives him the jersey. Maybe. Hershey, he still grabs 10 points. He gets 62 now. Moss tries to attack right before the top. Pogachar responds. Uh, his position potentially being threatened. Pogachar gains six points at the top, giving him 72. Two points behind Carapaz. So Carapaz is the new KOM leader, as that's the last classified climb of the day. Uh, Roglic, four points for him. That gives him 67. He's third overall. And Lopez, with 51 points, is fourth overall. Richie Port with that front group as they go over the top, but just early on in the gravel section, Port punctures. He's going to lose some time. He's going to have to try to chase to get back on. Landa, who was ahead throughout the climb, uh, is caught by the leaders. His gap was too small. He sits up at the last moment. 
rejoins with them. We have a very, very small select group as we're coming through the gravel section. Rogwich, Pogachar, Landa, Lopez, Moss. That's it. Five riders. Sepkus just behind. He's going to uh, meet back up with those guys before long and take over leadership role. Now, there's actually still a good distance to cover, not only on the descent, but after. There's another climb, could be, should be classified, but because it's so late, and a stage has already got so many classified climbs, they leave this one out. It was only about 5%, but it was like 6 kilometers or something like that. Uh, easily could have been a Category 4, but they just didn't want to mess with KOM anymore at that point. And then to the finish. A lot of descending through that end, so it went by pretty quickly. But with 20 kilometers to go, Kwiatkowski, Carapaz, well to the front. Bill Bow still in the no man's land. He was a minute 39 behind. Mark Hershey was at 322. The five leaders, now with Coos, at five minutes. And Richie Port, 539. He was just under 40 seconds behind. He's going to find some friends in that group, though, but he's going to do the majority of the chasing. 10K later. Again, there was a lot of descending through here, so it went by really fast. Still Kwiatkowski and Carapaz at the front. Port and others all back together. Also, they've started to close the gap. Carapaz potentially could have moved into the top 10 today. Uh, I need a floor. Floors could help. Floors could definitely help. Uh, let's try to do something about that, huh? Uh, floor, 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 build, floor. Honk, honk, who's honking? Again, this game with this laggy thing. Uh, please leave the wall. Don't take the wall out. I'm going to be disappointed if you do that. No, okay, it's fine. So they were at 347 behind the leaders. Uh, also, Bill Bow was back with that group. Hershey was back with that group. So those guys were caught. Uh, Yates, six minutes behind. Uran was at 637. Not much action over the final 10K other than a few more riders getting back with the uh, now Peloton group. Uh, Yates and Uran are going to come together uh, along with others. And at the end, uh, Ineos on the radio going, what do we do? What do we do? Who's going to win this thing? And they're going to give it to Mikhail Kwiatkowski for good reason. Carapaz is going to put the KOM. He's going to put the polka dots on. And as much as he deserves to win that stage, Kwiatkowski, five tours in support of his teammates. Two-time world champion. Brilliant rider. For me, Kwiatkowski is absolutely one of my personal favorite riders. Love that guy. Love the work he has done, especially last year. Uh, we just saw him bury himself in a way that unfortunately this year hasn't been much of a thing uh, for Ineos. They've really struggled, but today uh, well-deserved redemption for that team. Uh, again, they had the potential to, to maybe climb into the top 10, but instead of doing so, uh, they're going to back off, sit up, and let things be. Uh, didn't do necessarily what could have been done in that stage. Uh, we're going to need some bathroom tiles in here and then let's get and how do we want to do this one we'll split it this way sure Okay, and then we have two bathrooms to put together. Okay, maybe we have to do this this way. Freshman classroom. 
sophomore classroom. Junior classroom. Senior classroom. They need more student chairs than what they have. Okay, uh, how many more chairs do they need? <laughs> Not done building the walls yet. Okay, fine. Let's go with... Uh, anyway, Kwiatkowski, given the stage. And come on, what, 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 what am I looking for? Classroom, classroom. Objects, that's my problem. All right. What is that? That's 10. That's 11. That'll work. Uh, I don't think I needed the two extra. Looks like the teachers could end up moving around, no problem. Uh, we still gotta finish up these bathrooms. Kwiatkowski claims a win, Carapaz second. Uh, they ride in together, brilliant ride, well-deserved, both KOM and stage victory. Baffling that Mark Urshia game gets the combative jersey, though. Why don't you give that to one of those two Ineos riders? I know it's hard to pick between the two, but quite baffling that they didn't uh, pick one of them for that. That was so, so odd. Anyway. Uh, Van Art, knowing that third place is available, knowing that four seconds available, knowing that Pogachar seems to have been able to outsprint Roglic, in those short little punchy finishes over and over again. So Van Art attacks, claims third, gets those four seconds, takes that away potentially from somebody else. And then Roglic ends up beating Pogachar anyway, so he would have claimed the four seconds, whatever. Uh, their group comes in. They closed down the gap significantly, so Carapaz, I don't think he gained a whole lot of time, but he might have moved up to 11th or 12th. I haven't seen beyond what the top 10 is. And then finally we have Uran, Yates, and Valverde all together, many minutes behind, changing the GC. Uh, we can finally start the school year, which is awesome. I still need to do the bathroom a bit, but at least the school year. Yay! So here's the GC, Roglic. In first, Pogachar, 57 seconds behind. It's not over, okay? Uh, it's not over yet. But man, oh man, is it close. Uh, oh, they have neutral. Okay, this is going to be a heck of a squeeze, but we'll try... See if we can get what we need in there. Uh, sink and cubicles. Nice. Okay. Uh -huh. It's got to be in here somewhere. Ah, oh, there you go. Toilet. How about we put this by the door? That way. Okay. And then we'll do the same here. All right. You know what? We'll be nice. We'll even get him, give him some hand sanitizer. Perfect. Perfect. So, po Pogachar, 57 seconds, has a chance, but oh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. you, you got to think Roglic is definitely favored to hang on and win this thing. Uh, the only chance now is that stage 20 time trial. But 57, that's not a unmanageable gap 
but it's not a good gap. Lopez, minute 27. Same can be said. Uh, Lopez certainly has a shot at second. First seems a bit of a stretch, but looks pretty good to hang on to the podium. Port keeps fourth place, 306. Landa up to fifth place at 328. Good move. Barry McLaren, really good work over the last two days, and they get Landa into the top five, but not onto the podium. Uh, Moss moves up to sixth at 419. Yates drops to seventh at 555. Uran at 605, Demoulin at 724, and Valverde rounds the top 10 at 1212, where the gaps really start to get quite large. Alrighty, so uh, what we're looking at here is a race that is essentially done. I mean, the, those gaps have really opened up. Uh, Lopez to Pogachar, small chance. Pogachar over Roglic tiny chance uh port no way he's moving up port not the best time trialist on climbs uh, or just time trialist period so i think he's in danger but landa landa's a stronger climber but how's he gonna do when it comes to uh how, you know how's he gonna do when it comes to the uh, the flat section so that's one to watch out for but it's fourth place uh mass mass is pretty much in no man's land yates and uran certainly only 10 seconds separate them they could swap uh D Demoulin will gain time but he's a minute and a half behind uran and yates i don't think he'll catch either of them but he could um and then you know after the stage start whining again and start talking about how great he is and uh, and how he could have won the tour yeah right but yeah yeah right uh sorry i just everybody's gotta have a villain for me it's him kom that's actually the biggest one to watch out for there are points available at the top tomorrow i don't know how, exactly how many oh sorry stage 20 i'm talking about stage 20 tomorrow's already been written off it's a sprint stage there is some undulation there is some points out there we'll see if carapaz goes in the break again i would like to see him go in the break again however he does that he's burning some energy again we know that pogachar is not going to go in the break uh i'd kind of like to see carapaz go in the break early claim a few points sit up go back ride easy the rest of the day to save himself for stage 20 because he has got to ride hard on stage 20 because if pogachar wins or takes you know second or third he's going to pick up those kom points there's only a two point gap carapaz needs to defend that he needs to ride as hard as he can because we know pogachar is going to do exactly that because he's going to be riding for yellow not for the kom uh KOM's just going to be a byproduct of that if Carapaz can't secure any points. I, I can guarantee Pogachar is going to get some points on that stage 20 finish. How many? I don't know. I would think it would be a, at least two. You gotta figure. So that's the big thing to watch out for the rest of the way. Other than the points classification, uh, looks to be a real stretch right now a real stretch i don't think that uh, uh i don't think sagan's gonna win it this year and it would be so much more exciting if they didn't do that stupid penalty because they would be within three or four points of each other right now i mean it it, it would be that close it would be awesome going into these last three stages if we had that actually being a thing instead of the commissaires taking that away so whatever it's done i'm decathlon gamer thanks for tuning in be sure to hit that like button also join the conversation by commenting below and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe and bye for now